This is Teacher Sharon and today I am going to look at a very interesting topic. I am going to look at sets. First of all, do you know what a set is? Wow! A set is a group of common things, things, or things that are similar. I have apples. We can say this is a group of apples, meaning these apples, all of them together, make a set. And we are going to call it a set of apples. We circle it like that. We have an orange, an apple, we also have mango. We are not going to say this is a set of apples. No, 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 no. Because there is also orange and mango. All these things together, what do we call them? We call these fruits. So, they make a set of fruits. So we are saying this is a set of fruits. A set of fruits. So, a set of apples, a set of fruits. So now, here are some more other things. We put them together. We are going to say this is a set of cups. So, cups. There are cups and they make a set. So that is why we are saying a set of cups. We have a triangle, we have a circle, we have a rectangle, we have a square and an oval. All these make a set of shapes. Okay? Now, at your home, what kind of sets can you make? There are a lot of things that you have in your homes that you can gather together that are similar, that are common, and then you can put them together and make a set. You can get different, you can get spoons and put them together and make a set of spoons that you can make. In your home, you can make different types of a set. You can make a set of shoes. You have different pairs of shoes. You put all of them together, you are going to make a set of shoes. A set of stationery. What do I mean when I say a set of stationery? You have your rubber, you have your pencil, you have your, your pen, if you're using a pen, you have your books. So that is another set that you're using at school. Now, your class. Your class also makes up a set. It is a set of pupils. In your class, some of you are mixed, are learning boys and girls, so you can make two sets from your class. You can make a set of boys. You can also make a set of girls. So those are some of the sets that you can make. This set has got apples in it. Now, the things that are found in a set are the ones that we call the members of a set. Sometimes they are called the elements. How many members are in this set? Meaning you are going to count. One, two, three, four. Meaning this set has got four members. How many members are in this set? Meaning you are going to count the number of things that are in that set. One, two, three, four. Meaning, the set of shapes has got five members. You write your five there. Oh, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to turn on the bell icon so that each time I post a new video, you are notified that I've posted a new video on this channel.